How y'all doing? How y'all doing? This is Alvin with Trying Success here on the Old Fashioned Health Network. Good health inside and out. So listen, I got somebody from Armin Avenue that I don't get a chance to talk to him much, but he runs a big company. He makes sure everybody needs to get gets to where they need to go. I'm gonna let him tell you tell you a little bit about himself because I don't want to pronounce. I don't want. I don't want to call you. Junior, I just want to say Reggie. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna let you. Yeah. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you pronounce. I'm gonna let it's you tell Reggie everybody. Junior, you know, Junior. Some folk call me, uh, you know, a, a few different things. Right. Reggie, RJ, it's all good. You know. Listen, this man own is is owner of co-owner 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 president yeah, I, CEO. I can't. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I gotta say co-owner because your father would be yeah, after yeah, both yeah. of us. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I can't say, it. but he's co-owner. Yep. Tell them the name of your company and what you Vector do. Vector Group. Okay. Uh, I'm president and CEO, and uh, we are a transportation management and facility support services company. Okay. Um, located, as you say, on Auburn, Auburn Avenue. Avenue. Yep. Uh, history dating back uh, collectively over 40 years. Uh, this new entity has been in existence for uh, 10 years now, which I've been running in the last 10 years. Wow. So. We talk a little bit about the diversification mm-hmm. and, you know, how we started out in the bus business and right. how it's kind of evolved over all these years. And okay. Where we are to, to today in the business that we have. So, Reggie, let me ask you something. The company itself is, of course, older than you, right? It is. It's so, older yeah, so, so the the history okay. dates back uh, four years prior to my birth. <laughs> uh this new entity that we are currently, I currently own, is ten years old. But you know, in with businesses, there are ebbs and flows, mm-hmm. and sometimes you have to, you have to restructure right. companies to right. diversify in, mm-hmm. in a particular way. So um, you can't be scared to change nope. the course and, nope. and change your path. And when you see opportunities, you have to do what's right to be able to meet. That, that moment, you know, okay. so that's what I did in terms of, so when people ask, okay, well now, how old is the company? I had to kind of give the the short story of a longer story of, you know, how we had to recreate things. So, y'all, the Vector Group is in the same building that we're in, in over here on Auburn Avenue. And so lately we've been doing, <clears throat> excuse me, we've been doing everything, everything Auburn Avenue, all of the businesses and the stuff that are on Auburn Avenue. Uh, and that's the reason why we have trying to get everybody to know What's going on on Auburn Avenue? There's some great things going on on Auburn Absolutely. Avenue. There's some great businesses such as yourself. And the thing about it is people don't know the importance of what you do. They don't. They just see, like, okay, this is a vector group, right? Yep. But they don't have no idea that the vector group touched a lot of different tentacles in the city. Yeah, you know, and when I explain exactly what we do, I say we provide tran- contracting services okay. to the transportation industry. Okay. It's public transit. We have uh, city municipality clients. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have huge corporate clients mm-hmm. that we provide services to. So we have a multitude of different client streams that okay. we uh, provide a few different services to. Okay. Once again, did we start out, you know, day one offering all these services? No. no. You, you have to be able to do one thing well, and then you find an opportunity for to expand your your, your service um, offerings, okay, and that's a way that you can create multiple um, streams of income into into one umbrella. Okay, you know, so when I explain what we do, is is infrastructure stuff, right? You know, it's, it's it's infrastructure contracting, okay, um, that people don't think about transportation until it's it's right in front of them, and, or or need it. Or they need it, mm-hmm. or, or if it's not working properly, right? right? Okay, uh, so when people think of you know public transit. Um, Marta, Cobb County, all these various uh, uh, services mm. that, that that is offered to the public every day. There are a number of services okay. that are needed to operate um, to operate those systems every single day. So we provide some services and support services to uh, to to assist in those operations. Okay, all right. So let me ask you something. So Ben is so I I myself is a little older than when the company first started. I'm older than 40. Mm. So I think transportation, I remember trailways, Greyhound and all yep. those kind of things. Yep. And so when I spoke to your father about this, he has a great story about 
trailways and yeah. coming into and then it coming to fruition to where it is now. And and the fact that it started out with something such as bus transportation yep. and then to see what you've done with it yeah. is just it's amazing, man. Thank you. For it, it really is, man. I, I'm so proud to see it go from, and a lot of you all don't know anything about trailways. You don't know about uh, trailways and Greyhound and all those kind of things. But to see you take it from a platform such as Greyhound, and then now you're reaching and you have business relationships with Marlin and all those kind of places is, is actually amazing. And it's, to know that you have a mindset to look at a company and say, we have a solution. We have something that we could offer you. Yeah. Is that the way you look at is it? Is that how you find businesses? You look at them and say, okay, I think this is something we have a, um, a fit here we can do stuff with. How do you do that? Well, with me, it started with having a thorough understanding of where our strengths were. Okay. And our, you know, past performances and things that we've been able to execute successfully. Okay. Right. So it may not have been exactly what I may, you know, offer a client at that time. But mm-hmm. I said, okay, we've been able to perform at a high level in this category. Okay. And if it is a relatable, transferable service, then okay. you have to know how you can leverage things that you've done previously to new opportunities. Okay. Okay. Right? Um, so that's something that we, you know, when I, I restructured <coughs> uh, this current entity nine, 10 years ago, I said, Hey, we, we have this experience in, in, uh, operating large scale projects, mm-hmm. transportation wise. Okay, you know we have been involved with lots of major events, uh, several Olympic games, and okay. and political conventions to where okay. we would um, organize all the shuttle transportation, okay. bus shuttle transportation mm-hmm. to get the athletes and spectators and media, all these various groups that are involved in these major events. Okay, we we help coordinate getting them around those events and help planning and the operational execution um, of this, of, of, of what's needed for, for, for those particular projects. So when I looked at how could, you know, how could I diversify into other transportation areas, mm-hmm. I knew that we had project expertise and, okay. you know, project management experience uh, and just knowing how <coughs> to run a, a successful uh, operation. You know, uh, you had mentioned you um, that my father had bus experience. Right, right. You know, it started out in the late 70s and 80s. He provided the bus transportation for a who's who of your R&B acts. Uh, yes. So Jackson 5, and, um, the Commodores, mm-hmm. and, you know, moved them, provided the buses to move them on, on their tours. Right. Right. Uh, and then from, from there, he leveraged that into the major events. Right. Started in, 1996 with the summer games here in, in Atlanta. And right. then uh, he operated a charter bus business for a number of years. So, okay. you know, that's how um, through osmosis, I got introduced into the bus business okay. all those years ago when I was young and just seeing, you know, black business ownership right. from a, from a, pers- uh, from a perspective of it can be done. Right. You know, lots of times people, may not uh, know that something that can be done until they see it. Until they see it, right. You know, so growing up here in, in Atlanta, you know, Cascade Road, Southwest Atlanta, you know, you see black excellence every single day. You was raised around it. I was raised around it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you, you you have the belief that anything is possible. Mm-hmm. So, you know, just coming from that and other family and friends mm-hmm. um, seeing their success, you know, you feel like there's not a room that you can't walk into. Okay. You know? And once again, I feel like that's a very unique Atlanta story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. so when I come in, so once again, starting into, like I said, 10 years ago, it, there may not be services that we were performing that day. Right, right. But I said, hey, we know how to do this and knowing how to listen to the client's needs right. and say, mm-hmm. once again, you have to be a, a great listener. Right. You know, you can't say that you can offer something and it's not what the client's looking for. Right, right, exactly. Uh, or if it is what the client's looking for, do you have a plan to execute, right? So uh, I, th- I think that, you know, kind of answered your your yeah. question in, in, terms of, in terms of how do I look at right. these it, opportunities. It, and It does, man. And the fact that you were, you're able to pivot from one thing to another is a unique business skill you have to have. And you have the skill to be able to look and see what else we could do to maximize uh, what what my company is able to offer, 
And a lot of companies, you know, of course, they just get stuck in one little area and don't realize all the different things that they could do. And for you to have a unique skill set. And I'm, I, are we going to attribute this to, to, to Morris Brown and Morehouse? Are we going to attribute uh, okay. this to, to where, who are we going to give this credit I'm to? I'm going to give the credit to everywhere. I, I like to, okay, to, I like that. To spread the credit. Like, like I said, I, I, you know, being born and raised in the great city of Atlanta, uh-huh. you know, where just black excellence mm-hmm. just permeates throughout I'm glad to hear you say that, man. Because you know what? Atlanta sometimes gets a bad rap. If, if people think that, you know, I hate when I see those social media videos and be like, Atlanta is this, Atlanta. Atlanta is a beautiful city. Yeah. And there's so much here. Listen, there's so much here to offer. There's so much opportunity for uh, African-American businesses and, and anybody else that want to be in business. Yeah. Atlanta is a beautiful city. Yeah. So, you know, with me, I was born in 1981. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I came up. Around the time where Andrew Young and you know Maynard Jackson, those were the names that 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 I knew right, when right, I was right. a kid. Okay, right? okay, mm-hmm. and everything that they stood for, you know, in terms of advancing mm-hmm. um, the city and 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 advancing, uh, providing, being able to offer opportunities to a wide group of people. Right, you know, right. Um, so when you just talk about you know who credit goes to, just you know, my grassroots okay. of kind of what I saw. Obviously, my parents, my father, uh, entrepreneur. My mother was an entrepreneur also. My, oh, okay. My, yeah, my, my mother and my father worked together for a number of years. Okay. Um, and like I said, you know, just uh, various friends and family and, and Westlake High School and then going on to um, to Morris Brown. And, okay. Um, I was, look, you know, uh, I was on track to graduate there and, then you know, unfortunately, they ran into difficulty, and right. that's where uh, the the transfer happened to Morehouse. Right. Okay, and that's where I was fortunate to to gain even that extra layer right. of kind of business right. training, and you know, just being you know, just I always had that entrepreneurial spirit mm-hmm. just in, in innately. Right, uh, is so when you're able, you had the privilege to be able to 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 team that uh, that entrepreneurial background with, right. a, with a more structured uh, way of how to look at um, business. Um, you know, it's a, you know, it's, 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 it's definitely something I do not uh, take for granted. Right. Right. Man, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, it, it's, 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 so to, for you to have that, I want to call it the right thing to have that opportunity to be exposed to some of the greats here in Atlanta, yep. and then you take it and then you do something with it because there's nothing worse than to be here in Atlanta, to be raised around the greats and then don't do anything with it. And that's not what you, you, you're doing something with what you, because there are other people here that have been raised around the greats and I don't know if they really, if they've taken the torch and just, you know what I'm saying? They've, taken, they've not taken the baton and it's like, okay, I'm going to take what my, some of the greats I've been exposed to. Because right. you could have been doing anything. Yeah. You could have went to corporate America and got you a nice little retirement. And Yeah, and, and, what, and speaking of that, you know, uh, we talked a little bit about this new entity that, mm-hmm. that I'm, I'm currently um, uh, running. Okay. Right? Ten years ago, um, the previous entity that with my father and, you know, he had a partner at the uh-huh. time, there was ups and downs because, right. you know, we were just focusing on major events. Right, right. So in 2013, you know, that was kind of a tough stretch, right. okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I had the opportunity to leave and go back to corporate, you know, because I did corporate sales for a few years after, after Morehouse. Um, and, you know, that was a very challenging time. You know, basically all the other employees had left because, you know. Yeah, struggles and whatever. Yeah, you know, uh, but in 2013, I made the decision to 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 stay and to uh, rebuild. Okay, you know because I knew that there was a bigger legacy at stake. You okay. know, um, of you know my my last name. You know, and just wanting to continue that in a particular way. You know, I, I have to give your father credit because there were some times uh, when I first came here mm-hmm. to to get this. This yeah. you see here, this be- uh, be- beautiful setup. Here. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations. I appreciate that. 
he has the book your father has out. Yep. So I got a chance to read some of the book and then watch some of the documentary. And there were some times that when I looked at some of the stuff he had, with some of the challenges he went through, yep. and almost giving up and deciding I can't give up because God has a mission for me, man, you don't understand how that so resonated with me. And I tell him all the time, it's like, that book doesn't get the credit that it needs to get because as an entrepreneur, African-American male, trying to do my own thing, and you run into those times when you you, you want to be like, let me just throw in the towel. I, I yeah. can't take no more. And to see him, it's like, you know what? Even though I thought that was I was going to be like, I was ready to quit, but I didn't. Yep. And so I tell him, I was like, you don't understand. Your story has helped me. There have been some time I've watched yeah. your stories. And to see you turn around and take the best opportunity and make the best out of it. I, that's why I'm so crazy about y'all. I was like, I, I'm happy with what you're doing. I, I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. You know, we really appreciate it. You know, um, that book, um, he, he did that book in 2010. Mm -hmm. um, so that was around the time that we were, uh, that we had just completed the Vancouver Winter Olympics. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things were good. You right, know right. Saying? Because prior to that, he had, had ups and downs. Yep, since, yep, yep. Was, was in the book. Uh -huh. But how life is and how business life is, he ran to other <laughs> yep, <laughs> challenges yep. just a couple of years later. Right, 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 right. So 2013 was another pivotal year in mm -hmm. terms of, oh, do we just give up? Right. You know? Right. right. Um, and no. It, he, no. He didn't. He, he did. The, the, the answer was no. At, at the time, it was uh, just me and him. You know, in, in terms of the company, I said, okay, well, we're going to restructure this. We're going to recreate this entity. Right. We're going to... Uh, you know, be able to expand into other areas mm -hmm. that will stabilize our business model. Right, right. You know, and say, I'm still going to take the, the major event <laughs> project stuff. Right, right, you know, right, right. Because right. that's great. We do that very well. Right. But for us to be able to create, um, you know, more reoccurring mm -hmm. cash flows to be able to, to kind of stabilize things, I knew that we had to diversify into other areas. Right. Wow. So, um, you know, that was that was the strategy that I took in 2013. And, you know, me and senior, I, I call him senior. Right. We, we had a, a multi year back and forth struggle. Right. You know, right, right, from right. 2013 to I will say 17. Right. Because he was so used to, you know, kind of doing things a particular way. But right. I said, we, we have to change the path. We right. have to correct the course. And like I said, you can't be afraid to. To say, okay, here's how we have to do that, you know. Right. Um, and the dynamic of, you know, working with your father is one thing. It's another dynamic of you leading mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, uh, having to do that in a respectful manner. He said respectful, y'all. I know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, it, it, but to just to see the father and son combination and then to know, look, we, we, we had our ebbs and flows. But we still here, here. And, and I want the people to know one thing for sure uh, where, where, where you are with your company mm -hmm. um, One of the things I've heard you say I heard your father say it all the time mm -hmm. And then when I was in your office the other day And then you said the same thing Y'all are so about Giving back to our people That's the first thing your father always said I want to, I want to give back to our community We could help our people it, it, Let me just do something to give back to the community And I was in your office the other day That was the first thing you were talking about I like to see my people do better Or have better And, and, and y'all So it, this is not If you're working for the group I'm telling you I have to tell you firsthand. I've spoken to your father And he talks about Let's give back to the community. Let's do something for our people. What can we do to make it better for our employees? And the things that you're doing that's behind the scenes that your employees may not even know. And I know it's got to be interesting to work for, to have people that work for you that are a lot older than you and some that are your age. And there's like, okay, so he's my boss. But y'all, I'm telling you, the man has your best interest yeah, at you know, heart. I have to tell folks, though, don't let the baby face fool you, you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've. I, I gotta thank my my mom and my grandmother for those good genes. Eugene, those. yeah, <laughs> but you know, but just you know, piggybacking on that comment, mm -hmm. um, you know, as as our employee headcount grows, it just excites me. You know, it, it it you know when I wake up in the morning, I just can't wait to get to to the office, right? Because I'm thinking like, hey, this is a a a. Um, it's such a very, I'm so grateful right. for being in a position to where I can help impact uh, people's lives. Mm -hmm. 
right. through, you know, to where uh, when, when a client entrusts us mm-hmm. to perform services and do it well, then I'm able to to pass those opportunities along to people, and then we're we're a team right. to be able to meet the services of the client, mm-hmm. and then at the same time, you know, how can how can I as a leader of Vector Group right. uh, do the most for my people? You know, mm-hmm. we're here for you all. Mm-hmm. You all will be here for us. You know, okay. this is a two way street. Okay. Okay. Um, so I know there's lots of talk, or you know. These days, you know, I'm a boss and entrepreneurship and all these different things. Um, there's a particular uh, a responsibility. Yes, it does. That come with that. That comes with that. Yeah. You know, and and I'm I'm glad to see lots of you know those responsibilities now being brought to light from mm-hmm. other you know you yeah social media right 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 platforms and people now are saying hey there's so much more to just this concept of you know boss and everything. I, I don't look at myself as that. I look right. at, at myself as someone who is is trying to make an impact for uh, for the people that right. you know that, that that we provide employment to. Okay. Um, okay. So you know by late this summer we'll be over a, a you know anticipated headcount of over two hundred employees. Wow, uh, that's a lot of people. It is. That's a lot of responsibility. And, yeah, and and you know every every step of the way we're you know I'm having a conversation with them you know in in terms of hey. How can I? How can we be here for you? How can mm. I do more? I'm always thinking with my management team. How mm. can we do more? Uh, oh, wow. You know, so I'm so glad that they, I hope back. they can hear this, man. I really want them to hear this because, yeah, I, I watch you every day come in here and look. So, so yeah, I have to see Reggie when he come in the building. He walks on his toes really fast. It's like, where are you going so fast? Like, you be, I can't wait to get upstairs. <laughs> I know you be rolling coming up there. <laughs> so let me ask okay, this: two two more questions I want to ask you about. Yeah. Um, what would you say to your current uh, partners that you work with now um, that you're providing services for? What is it that you want them to know about what you are doing for them? And the ones that have not become a partner not yeah. yet, what do you want them to know about Vector Group? I think that one of the things that, you know, I, I'm, I'm really um, preaching to our team now is just mm-hmm. reliability. Okay. You know, when we get a call – uh, at the last minute, mm-hmm. we're going you know, we have the the processes and systems to be able to execute quickly and okay. to execute properly, okay. and to provide excellent service. Okay, um, you know, um, it's one thing to say that you can do something, but then when you don't deliver, make that happen, right? That that does not that that's not a good reflection on on not only your company, but lots of different companies. You yeah. Know? yeah. Um, so operational excellence and always looking to just improve on the process. Okay. You know, uh, we've been uh, entrusted from a few of our clients in, in expanding our, our scope of work with them over the last, you know, year. Okay. And with that, I'm always, you know, looking at how can we implement new technologies, new, new things mm-hmm. that will, that will not only improve our processes, but, that will in turn deliver a great uh, product to okay. our client. Okay. Um, so yeah, just just continuous improvement, just every single day, uh, being able to monitor, manage every single day, and having the discipline to do that. It's, okay. It, it comes down to discipline. So that that's that. So that's to y'all to y'all out there that want to do business with Vector Group. You hear the man? He's there to improve whatever you need to improve upon, including yourself. That's right. Now, what would you tell your employees that may be listening to this now? What do you what message do you want them to get about what you're trying to do as a leader of Vector Group? We are here for them, you know, in in every sense of the word, you know, every day I'm I am working towards how can we provide more more uh, services to them, okay. you know, uh we, we, we now offer all health care uh, benefits, uh, you know, life insurance, short-term, long-term disability. Um, you know, um, I have to tell an unfortunate story mm-hmm. of one of our employees um, passed away a couple of weeks ago from complications of COVID. Wow. Um, okay. Maybe two, two, three, two, three months ago. Mm-hmm. And, you know, even through that difficult time, I knew that we had a life insurance policy mm-hmm. that, that we were able to 
to to put into um, you know uh, to to execute upon for her family uh, to be able to handle final expenses. You know. Wow. Um, so that's exactly what we did. You know. So is is providing those level of just being there for our family, for our employees and their family. Um, mm. I think I was telling you, but we're, we're rolling out a, a mental health plan now. You know, yeah, you we're, did. We're going to make one of the mental the mental health apps available to all of our employees. Okay, you know, providing essential oils to our employees. Just, yeah, just making sure that you know, once again, that they understand that we care. Mm-hmm. That's so important nowadays because you know, after going through um, COVID twenty twenty. And still you know, now, and 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 still, and, and and we're not over it yet. No, you know, you have to let people know that you value them in right. in, in a particular kind of way. Um, so that's just the way that that I personally, you know, that's what I believe in and okay. how I live my my daily. Right. Um, and I think it's it's only right that I pass that forward to my Y'all people, man. I'm happy to hear you, man. I know if it's the Aryan employees out there listening, I can tell you from working for Corporate America myself, I don't remember a time that the company said, listen, we had a life insurance policy in place for you to take care of that. Now, they 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 don't pay. You, you just It's kind of like going to a huge organization and you're just a number. Yeah. But for you to be concerned about every 100 employees, yeah. that's that's a lot of work, Rich. And I'm proud. Man, I'm so proud of what y'all are doing. I really do. Um. I want to ask you where did the name Vector Group come from? Vector Group. Vector yes. Group. Where, where did that name come from? I know so, I said I don't have the last question. What was the last yeah. one? So in, in, in the process, 2011, 2012, uh, under our previous entity, mm-hmm. we had to go through a name change process. Okay. Um, sorry, getting over cold. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, so, you know, I kind of led the name change process. and So I came up with Vector. Tour, you know, V-E-C-T-O-R, which is a commonly, you know, it was his common name. I right. the, you know, lots of companies use that name because it, it stands for, um, the definition is point A to point B, right? I know that. They so, know that. Okay. Yeah, so from a transportation perspective. Got it. That made sense for us, right? Okay. Um, but I say, oh, that's too common. So when I say, okay, V-E-C-T-O-U-R, right? So tour. That's kind of a homage to the history of where my father started in the, you know, tour bus business. Okay. So, oh, yeah. Man, thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you so much thank for this interview. Thank, thank you. you for much, everything that you do. Now, can you please give the people uh, your contact information in case they want to use you to uh, transport a couple of hundred thousand people around? Yeah, or, or if they need their huge office building uh, cleaned or their facility, they can give us a call. Okay. Um, so our website, V-C-T-O-U-R, uh, vectorgroup.com, uh, is, is the best way to reach us. and uh, it has all of our contact information on there. and um, You know, reach out and, and, and we'll, we'll make it happen. All right. Thank you all so much for watching Trying Success here on the Old Fashioned Health Network. Y'all make sure y'all share, follow, and like. I have to be told that y'all, so you see me looking like off to the side over here because, you know, I'll be trying to sign off and you can't do that without a team. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> well, I need my it's, team. It's all about your team. It's about your team, it's, man. You can't do anything without I got a good team. Thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, trying Succession on the Old Fashioned Health Network. Good health inside and out. We out. See you later. Hey.